Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4 Ray, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Today, we're going to be working on more spiked defenses in front of our wall. I'm going to be trying a spike defense I saw on a video from Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And if it works out, it could be even better than this. This is an incredibly effective wall. It's also an incredibly expensive wall. I'm looking for something a little bit more manageable price wise, you know, as far as like what materials are going to cost and everything. And I'm also going to be looking for something that's going to kind of work with the um, uneven terrain I'm dealing with. I don't know if this new build is going to work with the uneven terrain that well, but we're going to find out. It, I think it will. So, Because this one right here, if I have it come down here, I'd have to keep it at the same level. And then it would be as high as my wall. It would be like a super giant build. Super expensive. And I'm going to try something a little different see how we can, you know, kind of work with that. Work with what we got. Try and keep it a little bit more manageable. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a couple logs and we need to align them. Uh, actually, I could probably just do this. Yeah, that'll work like that and like that. And let's grab a couple more. I don't know how the uneven terrain is going to affect this build, but you know, we'll just cut. You don't really know until you try it, right? So. All right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And we're going to come across like this. All right. That's all looking pretty. Yeah. You know what? I think that'll work. I think that'll work. We'll just leave it connected there. Eventually, I'm going to have a, uh, what do you call it, a zip line coming in and out of the base just because I don't want to deal with, like, kill zones and stuff. Um, oh, boy, hold on. When I was watching Gunsters and Steel's video, he likes the idea of an open, like, you know, part where you can get in without zip lines. And it's like a, he made, like, um, oh, my goodness, a lot of them. I didn't realize there's many of them. I thought it was just one. So he made, he made like a, a big like um, maze type of thing. And I was like, eh, I don't really want to have a maze. I think zip lines are cool. Maybe I'll even make like a rope bridge getting him. Oh, this freaking guy. This freaking guy. Let's see if we can do this. All right. Do not go after my people. You come from me. You come from me, bro. All right. Here we go. Come on. No, no. I'm right here, dude. go and now we cut him up yeah slice and dice baby that's what i'm talking about that's pretty good man um i had some trouble hitting him with that <laughs> with that taser gun when i first started trying but now i've i've got it pretty much down which is just wonderful hey, stupid mutant baby okay all right now what was i saying oh first of all first of all and snow blindness. I don't mean to make you guys go blind. There we go. All right, so everything's looking good right now. Let's continue along. And oh, really, I hate you. I already got attacked by babies. That's why I didn't think. That's why. I did, that's why I thought it might have only been one baby, because I've already been attacked by babies. I thought it was like a straggler. Yeah, one more. Man, what a pain. What an effing pain. What was I saying? See, I lost track of what I was saying now. Yeah, I think this is going to be the ultimate defense. I really do. I just, you know, I don't know how it's going to work. And, you know, you keep thinking, oh, I got ideas for this. I want to do this. I want to do that. You don't know how anything's going to work out until you actually do it. Like, seriously. So this is what you want to do. And it could take a little bit of practice, a little bit of uh, trial and error. You want to get this. Basically, you can't put sticks up here. Like, just on their own, right? So you want to have a stick connected to it, okay? And you're going to have to get the stick exactly as far away from the logs as you want because when it's connected, it will allow you to put it down. They might say, well, Cage, that's going to put it underneath the lock. Nope. Puts it right on top of the lock. And once you have that on top of the lock, you can now get the, the line connected to that. And again, this takes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work here. You can see it on top right there. There we go. You, get a, you, you know, it just takes a little bit of uh, practice, a little bit of figuring it out. But this is the basic idea. That's got to be connected. We got to get the line connected. And it's not connected. It takes a little bit of... Uh, it's connected now. And there we go. So what you want to do is... These aren't going to be the only sticks up here. You're also going to put sticks in between them. But what you're going to do is you're going to have this go down all the way down the line. And in order to connect the sticks... 
on this end, you're going to want to break these, uh, turn these into spikes. Basically, when the regular sticks like this, other sticks will connect. And that could be helpful sometimes, and it could be a real pain in the butt sometimes. So um, if you turn them into spikes, they won't connect anymore. But you don't want to do it on the last one, because if you do it on the last one, then you won't be able to like line them up perfectly. I mean, unless you don't care about lining them up perfectly, but I do. What I did with the next part was I simply put a stick out here to line it up with this. Since these are knocked down into spikes, they won't interfere with the connection, right? So I put a stick down here until I got exactly where I wanted. I put that up. Now, since that's a that's a stick, that's a stick spike, that's a stick. The All the other sticks will line up with each other. So we've got everything going on up to here. And I don't see any reason not to knock these down. So I guess I will. And as a matter of fact, you kind of want to knock them down because when they're standing up as regular sticks, if you so much as sneeze in their direction, they're going to fall. Okay? So you just don't want to deal with that. All right. So now we're going to do the, the last part of this. Honestly... I don't even know if you need a second level on the top because we're going to do another level behind, you know, and that will, that should be a lot easier, but you know, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. So I, we want these to be on the ground, but like right, perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but, um, well, it's kind of perfect. Yep. And then he's got to be on the ground, right? And on the ground. Nope. I'll take it down if it goes up there. Might be more spikes than I need. When I was watching uh when I was watching Guns Nerds and Steel do this, I was kind of skipping around. As YouTubers don't have a lot of time to watch like like the whole video. <laughs> so I I, sk I skipped around, but you know. You could probably not even do the second level of spikes on the top. Although I feel like the spikes on the top are the ones that are gonna do most of the damage. And then once these are down, you simply Boom. Oh, those, you know what? I don't even know if that's worth it. You know, I'm not even going to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, everything was good. Okay, that didn't screw anything up. Good. I'm going to take that one off the bottom. I don't even think the ones on the bottom are worth it. I mean, what's that going to do? Like, get someone's tone. I mean, the, the ones on the tops are the ones that are going to do, are going to do the damage. So, yeah, there you go. So that's how you do it. Oh. Darn it. And I do have spikes behind me now because I have spikes in this wall. You know, that's okay. We're, we're, you know, we're experimenting with different spike wall situations. And this one's kind of the same as the one in the back, except there's no wall in, wall in, the, in the way, which is probably a better setup if I'm going to be perfectly honest. The next part of the setup is to take our stone and reinforce these spikes. All right. So we should be able to jump up here. There we go. Looking good. And you just kind of throw the spikes over. You know what I do? I really like the setup and I don't want anything to go wrong. <laughs> so I'm going to come up here and save the game in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong. It doesn't take much, you know, like it, one stick gets broken out and it just messes up the whole, the whole system. It's, it'd be really irritating unless you don't really care about having like, um, sticks in sp specific areas, which I kind of do. I got him looking for stone, but he's just walking in circles right now. What a useless piece of crap. <laughs> All right. And we just place these up. We won't see these stones that well until winter's over. And winter will be over this episode, so. The winter in this game is really annoying because, like, you just can't see stuff properly. All right, I got to take care of him, man. What are you doing? Like, seriously, what is the matter with you? Get mother effing rocks and put them in that mother effing holder before I feed you to the cannibals. All right, go, go. I'm watching you go. He's stuck, he's stuck AF. All right, fine. Fine, I can't have him stuck here. All right, I'm gonna move this one. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. Now go get some. Are you? Are you, all right? You know what? F him. F him. We'll worry about that later. Let's just get this stone in the wall. Oops. Damn it. Right. Would this be better from the inside? From the outside? That yeah, seems to be coming okay here. I don't like going to the outside because I end up like stabbing myself with my own spiked walls. <laughs> I honestly, guys, I think pound for pound. The amount of time you put into it, I think this is going to be the best stone wall 
Uh, sorry, spiked wall that there can be. By the way, speaking of stone walls, when are we going to be able to make stuff with stone? There's an update coming out in a couple days. So I'm kind of, I mean, I don't think we'll get stone walls right now, but I would like to make stone things. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I have been having a few issues with this. N nothing really bad. Sometimes sticks will fall out. If I get attacked, enemies will break out sticks. So a couple of sticks I had to replace and they kind of went a little bit lower than usual. So it doesn't look quite as good, but it's um it's going to get the job done. It is definitely going to get the job done. We are coming around the corner right here. You know what I keep doing? I keep hammering down the last stick without realizing I'm not supposed to. I do it repeatedly. It's just, you know, I can't help it, man. I can't help it. It's just uh, the way my brain works. Not very well. So, nah, it's fine. It's all good. It's just, you know, force of habit. All right, so we're going to put these in. Like So you really want to stone these up as much as possible uh, because if you leave them just as sticks, they, when the enemies attack, they will get broken up pretty quickly. Uh, the enemies did get destroyed on them. Next time I get attacked, I'll make sure to record it. Hopefully they'll they'll bang themselves up on the wall. The problem is Slinky. Old Slinky McSlinkerton. Um, he's a douchebag. God, I hate that thing so freaking much. But... Yeah, other than him though, like not many, not many of the uh, candles are gonna stand a chance here. I could also break this one down. There we go, and some stone. And then the next thing I need to do is go get more logs. Let's see how he has been doing out here with the logs. He hasn't been doing logs for a while, but he did do logs for a while. So, um, honestly, I could do, I could do the logs myself. Uh, getting stone is a much much more uh, annoyance, pain in the butt. I guess you could say. So I'm just going to kind of look in here. And these two go to two different places. If I need logs up top, I do that line. If I need logs down below, I do that line. And I'm going to need logs down below. And there's not even a lot up here, so I'm just going to... Now, it doesn't really matter if those logs... If, like, those logs go into the log holders. I had to break out a bunch of my log holders down there. Because he was stuck. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. They can stay on the ground as long as he is not getting logs. If he's not getting logs, it's not a problem. He won't he won't cause any issues. But my cat's going crazy. I opened my window today because it's really nice. And then my cat is going completely nuts. Probably saw a bug out there or a bird or something. Who knows? But um, yeah, so basically if he's not helping with the logs, it doesn't matter. They can stay on the ground. No big deal. Otherwise, he'll like... If you have him getting logs up here, he'll go back to your base to bring the logs up to the log holders. You know, because he's saying, well... There's logs on the ground over there, so that's a problem. And I'm just going to grab all of these. Uh, one more trip after this one. And then we can turn the corner here. And then we'll have, once we're done with this uh, this half of the base, we'll have pretty much three quarters of our base taken care of. And I do like th this log defense better than the one, any other one I've been trying. Or sorry, spike defense. I probably want to jump off before the end. See, now, yeah, a lot of these logs are getting caught up here. I'm not sure if it's because of the stump. I'm going to take out the stump. Actually, I don't like taking out, I don't like taking out stumps with that. I like taking out stumps with these. I'm not really sure why they get caught here. I'm thinking it's because of, of the stump. But it's not like all the logs. It's like every, like, maybe other log or something. I don't know. Hopefully that'll help. It was happening earlier, too. And grab those. And boom. Oh, a couple more over here. There we go. Uh, I need some way to get to get behind this if there's enemies over here quickly. I don't know if this is... Actually, I don't think I'm going to hit the spikes like this. Damn it. Almost killed me, too. I think I was low on health. That would have been... That would have been unfortunate. <laughs> to say the least. All right, I'm going to need a better way to get in and out of here. And, you know, I should probably make that sooner rather than later over there yeah it's just sticks and stones down over there so i think what i want to make is a tower out there and then probably a tower over here let me see if i can put a tower here because i honestly i don't know if i can oh, this is going to get expensive um where are the towers i think they're at the beginning yeah there we go if can, i'm gonna need 120 logs Ugh. Oh, this idiot's stuck underneath the freaking base again what a dummy you know, I could just put one tower out here, and then I could connect it to that one. You know, I probably wouldn't even need a tower, to be honest. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Let's see if we can do this. I think one log will probably be okay. 
So if I get, let's say I get attacked and I want to get inside. I think this will be good enough for now. Yeah, that should be okay. It's got to go over the spike wall, but as the spike wall comes down this way, it's going to go down, like literally down at an angle. It should be good enough. Um, I don't have a thing behind there. I don't think that's going to work very well. It'll work, but not perfectly. This is a very temporary, temporary solution. What the heck? This is a very temporary solution here. But yeah, that'll, that'll get me in. And if I get attacked that way, I don't have to, you know, get my teeth kicked in. All right, that works out pretty well. Now let's grab some of these logs and connect those up in here. There we go. Yeah, this wall is much better. And what's going to happen is you're going to have parts coming up. Um, wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, no. Okay. Very good. Very good. If you have parts coming up, you go up a quarter. But the thing that makes this 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 wall so much better than all the other walls is it just goes with the terrain. That is awesome. It's also cheaper. It goes with the terrain and it's cheaper. That's two wins in my book. So this putting down sticks things really is a race against time. You don't want enemies to come in and knock them down. And I noticed that once you put down the first stick, you can stand up on these logs to put down the rest. If you don't see the line, it means you're too far away. You get a little closer. And I'm just going to put these all the way down. And hopefully my that bonehead's been getting stuck. Uh, Kelvin's been getting stuck in my base right by the bone chair. And I think what's happening is um, he wants to rest on the bone chair. But then something about like where it is, he keeps getting stuck. So I destroyed the bone chair. Because I can't have him getting stuck. I need him to collect stone. I won't even be able to collect stone during the winter. Thank goodness this will be the last day of winter. But, you know, still, I will have a hard time collecting stone. And this thing goes right... Okay, still got a little bit of space. Hold on, do I hear something? Him, okay. This game makes me paranoid, man. Not as paranoid as the original forest. The original forest... Do you guys notice that, like, this game is not as creepy or scary as the original Forest? Is it just because we've already been here? You know, we, we know what to expect. I don't know, man. Like, everybody says that I've been talking to that the original Forest is much scarier. Okay, so this is a problem here. See right here? I got a little issue here. Now, if I can't bring the wall to the very end, so be it. But I'm going to try it like heck. It doesn't even look like it's connecting. It comes over here. Yeah, it's something with that stone. All right, I'm going to leave that alone, and I think that's going to be the end of the wall. What I can do is I should be able to put just, you know, sticks like this and just kind of... I don't know why I could put it down there, but I can't put it up here. It's kind of weird. But I'm not... You know what? I've been messing with enough today. I am not going to mess with it. If I can't put it down, I can't put it down. So be it. I will just... um Like I said, I can just put, like, massive sticks on the ground at the uh, over there and not have a problem. Okay, so this is the one I want to knock down. And by the way, this is how I did the corner. Looks pretty solid. You know, it's not too bad. And if I decide I want to put sticks behind it or maybe even sticks in front of it, I could just really beef it up. And so far, it's looking like a pretty a pretty dope setup here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some stones down, the one, ones I've already knocked down. Because if the enemies come in, this, they'll get hit by the sticks and they'll die, but they'll knock the sticks off and then I got to... You know, I won't be able to line them up properly. I got to like go out of my way to try and get things done right. And it's just just a, a headache I do not need. There we go. Looks like it's getting close to nighttime too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be really happy when the, when the winter's over. I can go collect fish again. I can see things on the ground properly. I wonder if he's going to have a hard time getting over these. I mean, he seems to be just walking over them. So I guess he'll be fine. It's just more of me. That will be the issue. I'll have to make some kind of rope bridge type setup. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it yet. I, I really wish trees would regrow, regrow. Like, come on, man. And you know what? You're Like I mentioned this, I think, last video, but I, the trees got to start regrowing, period. And if you really want to go above and beyond as developers, let us, let us plant trees where we want them to be. That would be wonderful. But we'll see. We'll see where it goes. It's not going to make or break the game. The forest, the original forest is one of my favorite... Um, survival games ever and it didn't like let you plant trees wherever you wanted so a little bit of a knock but not not a huge deal
when talking about my favorite survival games ever, I used to put my survival games in like a top five and a top 10. I don't do that anymore. I'm, I think more now of survival games and actually everything in general as a tier list, you know, S, A, B, C, D, E, F, like that. And that's kind of how I look at this, you know, uh, survival games now. And Seven Days to Die, probably, I'm going to do a tier list at some point, by the way. Uh, Seven Days to Die is probably the only S tier survival game. Maybe, maybe, maybe the original Farce would be in there too. Uh, but there's, there's very few S tier survival games. And honestly, the Farce might be one of them. It might be one of them. Now, is the Farce better than, the, than Sons of the Farce? It's too early to tell. They still have to do more development of this game. I'm actually taking out the rocks on the wall behind me because I just, I don't have enough. And to be honest, I don't really like these spikes back here. I keep walking into them. Now that that's not the main wall, I keep trying to back up and I end up walking into them. So not really a great setup for me. Um, but we are about to do the next layer of spikes. So let's go ahead and do that now. Dude, I'm going to freaking die. You know what? I'm just taking them. I'm just taking them out. I'm taking them out. Oh, freaking log. That's going to be a pain. <laughs> um, can I put... Nope, I can't put that back in. All right. All right, here we go. I'm about to get... I'm going to get all these spikes out of here because they're going to really mess me up. Yay, winter's over. I can get fish again. It hasn't been spring for very long, so I don't know if there's going to be any fish in here. But I figured I'd come check. I need water anyway. Uh, got any fish? It looks like there might be some fish in there. There we go. Our first fish of the season. Awesome. Go ahead and get some water. I have finished that spiked defensive line. Um, I mean, honestly, my base is about three quarters of the way done with these spike defenses. And I think the ones I'm making today, I'd have to see them in, you know, in action. The one thing I'm a little bit worried about the spikes that I have right now is when they get broken out, how hard will it be to replace them? You know, uh, so I won't know that for sure until they do get broken out, but we'll just kind of have to see how it is. And um, like I said, uh, I did get this from Guns, Nerds, and Steel, but I, I kind of was jumping around in the video. This probably is not exactly the way he built them. Um, you know, I just I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot of other videos, but this this build really did look freaking dope. So I'm glad I did it. I think it's going to be good. I'd like to get attacked before the end of the before the end of the video, but we'll see. I don't really have any uh, control over that. And as you can see, I was um, just ziplining over babies. So that's fun. And let's get uh, let's get this fish hung up. Somebody said if you put a fire underneath a drying rack, it helps with the drying process. I don't know if that's true or not, but whatever. I figured it'd be a good place for a fire. And let's take a look at the rest of this wall. He always comes up here. He comes over here for stone. That's that's his problem. We need to get these logs off the ground because I will be shutting down the game soon, and I do not want to lose logs. Uh, I guess I'll just put them right here for now. Oh, she's shooting. Hold on. Oh, babies. So will the spikes kill babies? Because I don't think they will. No, let's find out. Come on, you little bugger. Where are you going? You gonna try something? Try me, bro. Oh, there he goes. Did he die? I don't think he died. I think he just kind of bounced off. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he got through. All right. There we go. So it's not... Well, where'd he go? He jumped back on the other side. Oh, he can go right under. Okay. That's funny. All right. Makes sense. I don't really care. Uh, these spikes aren't really for the babies. So. All right. Let's take a look over here and see what we got left. All right, we just got to put some stones on, and we are good to go. Let's grab these. And... Beautiful. Oh, this is going to be... I think this is going to be pretty effective. And it definitely looks intimidating. Okay. Take it easy. Yeah, this is not baby proof. That's for darn sure. That's okay. Like I said, that's okay. Oh, bull. That was some BS right there. Wait. Are you guys done? Oh, there's another one. Look at him walking along the... The only thing I'm worried about is, um... 
I don't want to uh, hit my own stuff. You know what I mean? So all right, I'm going to go take care of the rest of these jerks. Everything's dead. I feel better. That is awesome. And um, like I said, this is not going to be baby proof. It's not going to be slinky proof. But I think it will give pause to some of my other enemies. And um, I'm going to take all these spikes out behind me because I keep backing into them like a dope. And I think we are done here. I'm going to have to have some ways in and out. I'm thinking like a tower on that corner and then a tower on this corner so I can get in and out pretty easily. And um, yeah, I'm kind of digging this uh, defense. It's pretty dope. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Idiot. Always stuck up here. <laughs> He's always looking for stones up here. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.